Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Emily. Today I am doing episode number two in the series of Dollar Tree Best Buys, the best bang for your buck. Um, if you missed the first episode, I will leave it linked up in the eye in the sky and then also down below for you to go check out. That one was mainly cleaning and household items. And today I am focusing on more kitchen items. I'm trying to keep everything instead of it being a really sporadic video and sharing all different types of things because let's face it, the Dollar Tree has practically everything for you. I wanted to try to lump it into different categories. So this series, if you keep enjoying it, I will keep making them. So um, I have plenty of other ones planned. So just stick with me here and you guys really love the first one. So that is why I'm doing episode number two. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It should be gray and also hit that bell next to it. That way it notifies you anytime I upload a new video. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I will say I am missing a few of the items. I actually saved some of them to show you and then now I can't find them. So that's what happens when you have kids. Sometimes they just take things and they disappear on you. So let's just jump right into it. And the dog is outside. So I'm sorry if she's barking. I can't control that. So the first thing I wanted to go over um, is continue containers, food storage containers. Now they have a lot of different selection for you to choose from, from regular um, containers that you hold food in to actually holding like cereals and things like that. Their ones that actually would hold the cereal are a little bit smaller. So they're only going to hold like a small box of cereal. They're not going to hold a jumbo size that you get at Costco, but it still gets the job done. So those are really good buy. Also their freezer or their, um, I don't know what they're called, but foil containers. Those things are such a good buy. They usually come in a two to three pack when you buy them, which is a steal for a dollar. But I really like them for freezing my husband's meals or if you're having like a barbecue or something and you need those big food trays, those things are awesome. And I, I will say the ones that you use for the freezer meals, I usually get two or three uses out of them and then they're kind of done. So the next one are these food trays. Now they have a couple different styles. They have ones for popcorn holders, which I think are really, really cute. And they also have these. I actually have about eight of these, maybe 12. Um, but I like these for the summer, especially when you have parties, you can just put a little bit of lined paper in it and it works really good and it keeps everything kind of contained and it's perfect for like burgers and fries, whatever you're making, I think they're really, really good. Oh, see, I'm missing things. The next thing are these silver trays. I use them for parties. I've used them for basically every different birthday party we've had, but I actually started using them for decor. So you guys might have seen them in my Dollar Tree DIY that I have, but I absolutely love them. They come really small and then they also come really large. They have rectangle, square, circles, you name it, but they're really good priced and they're not flimsy, which is what I like about them. The next thing um, that I really like from the Dollar Tree, kind of moving on, are their utensils. When we first got married, we were you know, obviously on our own and we didn't have a lot of money to spend. So we shopped at the Dollar Tree for pretty much a lot of our stuff. And I will say, if you were just moving out on your own, they have so much stuff for you. They basically have everything except for really good pans. So you can get everything from plates and dishes to wine glasses to um, utensils, can openers. They have it all now and their quality is so much better. This is a Dollar Tree one. It doesn't flex very much. It's really thick and sturdy and I absolutely love it. Um, they actually have bamboo now. Bamboo at the store is really expensive and normally I would buy mine at like Home Goods because it's usually cheaper there than it is at Target and other places. But they have bamboo utensils. Such a good steal. Pick those up if you haven't done so already. The other thing I like is they have a ton of barbecue stuff. So they have these metal skewers. They come in a pack of four and I really, really like them. They do carry the wood sticks, but if you're barbecuing, you know that wood sticks catch fire and then they break and then there goes your food down below. I made that mistake. So I really like their wood skewers. They're very, very long. I would say this is about 15 inches or so. So really good length. And they have everything you need for barbecuing, but is their salt and pepper shakers. Now they're nothing fancy, but you can get two for a dollar and I really like them. Um, my husband, whenever he does things, he usually drops a lot of things. It's okay. He's just, I guess, he's not clumsy. Just glass seems to fall right out of his hand very, very easily. So I just pick up these. 
I like them. They work really just good. I actually just bought a new set because he broke the last one. So, um, but yeah, they're very, very good. They even have cinnamon sugar or just sugar, um, what do you call it, carriers. They have so much stuff, and I'm going to repeat myself a lot, but they really, really do. Is these pans, these little cake pans. They have um, bread pans, things like that. But these are really, really good because you can make lazy Susans out of them. You just put these marbles that, again, you can get at the Dollar Tree. They're just these um, marbles. You put a few in there, and then you just need two pans for this. And then you have a perfect lazy Susan that um, spins and you've only spent three dollars in the end if you buy the marbles and then two sets of pans but a bag of marbles is going to last more than just one lazy Susan. Parchment paper. Parchment paper is so expensive at the stores and I really don't know why they want to charge you an arm and a leg for it considering you're not you know going to be baking your body on it but um, their parchment paper I really really like. I think it's a good deal the other thing I like are their hot pan mitts. They have two different styles. They have a thinner one, which is fine, but they also started carrying these thicker ones. And yeah, it's yellow, who cares? But they have different colors like blue and red. But these are really, really thick and I like them. And for a dollar, they're a good steal. Now I will say that they're um, oven mitts. Now I've seen some people say that they have the um, the squeegee ones, mine doesn't carry them, which is fine, but the actual cloth ones, oven mitts, don't buy them, it'll burn yourself. Um, I made that mistake. I guess if you're gonna be taking something out of the pan very, very quickly, it's okay. But if you're gonna be holding like a hot cookie sheet for mm, 10, 20 seconds, you're gonna burn yourself. So I wouldn't suggest those, but the next thing is can openers. Now they have a few different styles. I have a bad reputation with can openers. For some reason, mine break. Doesn't matter what, if I buy name brand or the cheapos, they break usually within a year and it drives me nuts. So I thought, you know what, instead of me spending anywhere between three and $12 for a can opener, I decided to try the Dollar Tree one and I cannot find it now. I saved it, um, but it lasted three months. Now, we don't eat a ton of canned food in here, but we usually have, I usually open a can once a day, let's face it and it lasted almost exactly three months and now it won't even like turn but you can buy four of them for the entire year and we spent four dollars but i will they've always carried knives like when we were married we bought our first knife set from there and it wasn't very good it's pretty crappy and that's now in our camping gear but they started carrying like a higher end knife and i haven't tried them but they're not flimsy they're actually like in a packaging and they're very very nice looking so i would suggest buying those over the sets that are not in the packaged thing because those ones just aren't very good but they're only a dollar and it gets the job done so like i said if you're just moving out on your own and you need a few supplies they have everything you need from measuring cups are really really good that they have the spatulas they have sifters. Their sifters are really good for a dollar. They even have the spray mat. So if you're frying something, it's not going to burn you. And those are, again, only a dollar. And so moving on to glassware, I love their glass bowls. They come in a set of usually two, sometimes three, but I can usually always find them in a set of two. And they have two different sizes. These babies are such, these are so good. I've had these since we were married. So we're working on 10 years now. And that just tells you how good of a quality they are. It's glass. Um, and it just it holds up really well. So I like the quality of their glassware. And speaking of glasses, like if you want wine glasses, I use my wine glasses for decorating. If you saw any of my decorating for Christmas, I used quite a bit of them. But they have all different size wine glasses to choose from and they're all a dollar. And if you don't drink wine very often, but you wanna have like a, say a party or something and you need a little extra, you can go out and buy as many as you want instead of paying like $20 to the store for a set of four. So I really, really like these. Um, and then they also have, if you're into drinking Coke or something, we're not soda drinkers, but they actually have vintage Coke bottles and think Coke glasses, I guess I should say. And they're really good price. Mine actually, the other thing I've had for almost 10 years now is their silverware trays. Now mine is in the color blue, um, but they now carry it in white and a few other colors, but those, those go for a lot more money and especially just for holding silverware, it definitely gets the job done, but you can use it for your toothbrushes in the kids' bathroom. There are so many different uses you can use for them. So that, now moving into the party supplies, 
They have so much stuff. Two things that I really like there, um, their cups. They have these clear cups that are really, really good. They're nice quality and you can get like eight to 10 in a package. Those are really good. And then their um, paper cups are really, really nice and thick. The plates. Mm, I wouldn't suggest those. They are very, very flimsy. So if you're going to splurge on something at the store, get better plates type thing. But they have all different colors of silverware. So if you want to host like a, you know, a wedding party or something like that, and you don't can't break the bank, which let's face it, it's for one day. Why? Um, they have different colors, regular clear. They have silver and black and white and black and silver. They even have dessert cups, which I really, really like. Um, they have the big serving trays. They actually carry cupcake holder and a cake holder. So those are really, really good because at the store, they're usually about 10 to $20, if not more. So you can actually hold 12 cupcakes for you. It's such a good deal. So hopefully that gave you a good realm of like what is actually good quality for the things that are in the kitchen area for the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I'm trying to just group them into different um, categories. That way I'm not like all over the place because there's so much to cover. We really tried to hone in on the things that I actually buy that are really good quality for a dollar. You really can't beat it anywhere else. And if you are starting off on your own, go to the Dollar Tree, stock up on everything you need. And you know, you won't have to break the bank to start you know your life on your own. And even if you have a lot of money, why spend a lot of money if you don't have to? You know what I'm saying? Everybody can um, save a dollar somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I think the next one will be a craft and home decor one. If you guys want me to do that one next, just let me know. I'm really enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun with it and you guys seem to enjoy it a lot too. So thank you. But yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye.